hi leo welcome in welcome in to my channel thank you so much for being here oh that you're doing well this is your seven day forecast messages um what will come up in seven days within a seven day time period for you what to look forward to within this time okay leo so leos are the fifth astrological sign of the zodiac and their ruling planet is the sun the center of the universe Leos have vibrant personalities, they are dynamic in spirit, outspoken, very grounded, very passionate about what they do. Leonians, they take, they make brave moves, you know, so they're very brave, courageous people. Leo is, Leo's symbol is the lion, yes, courageous okay so leo please do focus your intention on these cards and get let's get your messages out right now <laughs> let's go leos okay so all right for the first stack of cards here what to expect in the upcoming week for leonian in the month of April here, 2021. Leo's energy, Okay. Taurus, Earth sign. Oh my. What a sign. Uh, something about your pentacles being left behind, your values, yourself, your sense of expression. Not expressing yourself well, being closed off. Not well, but not with a lot of emotion. Not with your true intuition and your emotions. Your true emotions. So, Okay, there's love here. I feel like you're finding love out in nature spaces. Spaces that you enjoy. Going to the beach, perhaps. Okay, so let's go. Let's get to your messages. All right first card what's going on in the energy for leos thank you so much hierophant marriage okay marriage possibly so are, are getting into a union with another person or a business you acting upon bigger dreams that you have to fulfill or uh, you know marriage <laughs> right, so I, I <laughs> have you been thinking about marriage and what have you been feeling as if it's as if you love the idea of marriage but you kind of roll your eyes at it somewhat. But you kind of daydream about marriage, Leo. What's coming up in your energy? Marriage. All right. For this week, let's see. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Leo's energy. The moon. The moon normally means that there are secrets. So, secrets. Hmm. Things being done in secrecy, dark, behind your back. Maybe someone could be plotting against you in secret. It could be a good plot if it's a marriage, right? And you don't know about it. Okay. <laughs> What's going on in, in secret? There's something to be revealed. I feel guided to tell you to use the, the new moon um, as a sense of reverence to bathe in somehow, to be guided. If it is visible in your, in, where you are at, in your location. If not, just use the essence of the moon. To, I feel it's saying come into yourself, into your sense of solace. I don't know why I'm getting, I feel like this is deep, like you need, you to maybe be silent for a while. Maybe not share your, your certain secrets with other people. 
So be silent, work on your dreams silently. Like have a sacred space within yourself where that's for you only, secrets. Okay? So just take the messages how they resonate with you, please. Don't force them to fit. Just feel them. Feel the messages. All right, the third card. What's coming up in your week? All right. The two of pentacles. Balancing out your finances. Partnering up. So I feel like the marriage, the union could be you partnering with another company that's going to uplift your financial stability. You coming together with your sense of self-worth, your value, how highly valuable you are. Like, ah, oh, ascending and accepting, realizing how beautifully powerful you are. As if coming into your sense of strength. As if saying, I am a lion for the very first time. Deciding to own the characteristics of that lion in you. Being brave, bold, and beautiful. There is a space in you. I feel it's water energy. That's why the moon is here. Your emotions. I feel like you're keeping your emotions more sacred to you. As if not really. Like your emotions are. I feel it in your chest area. Maybe the way how you're speaking. As if you are bearing water on your chest and that water is your emotions but it's for you as if you don't have to tell everything to everyone you're realizing that you can carry yourself you're your your own vessel okay Leah, let's get it moving second card or you know let's get this going the Four of Cups, being contemplative. Maybe there's an offer of marriage for reals and you are really thinking in your heart space, is this what I want? Or maybe this could be a twin flame union with this person that's coming to you wanting to marry you. The Four of Cups, alignment in heart, in love. Maybe you, you want to feel more grounded in your heart. Maybe you're taking more time to think about this offer of love that came into you. This offer of business, this business offer or a love offer. The moon, the death card, something coming out, you know, like the end of the secrets. I feel like the dam has broken, the veil has broken. The end to the secrets. The light has shone through to reveal, to enlighten. So the end to being held in darkness. So you are now, the secrets are now being revealed to you. Let's see what happens further in this week. Mm -mm. The devil card and the two of pentacles. I feel like you'll be faced with some toxic vibrations. It will be facing you, burning, I feel, as if. And you'll have to decide how to respond in that moment with anger or with a more mature version of yourself that you have already manifested somewhere in you. Your sense of self-worth. So this challenge coming up might test your sense of this new sense of identity. Of worth, um, value in yourself. Of focusing on, on uplifting yourself. It might be tested with a negative confrontation of sort. And it's how you handle it. And this, I feel it's just a test this week. So maybe after this week, there's a, there's a graduation process to congratulate you depending on how you handle this situation coming up. So remember, this could mean addictions, sexual addictions, drugs, anything that you get attached to, relationships, negative thoughts and beliefs that cause you to act and feel out of alignment with your true self. So that's a test coming up for you. 
let's go okay the two of wands knight of pentacles Queen of Swords. Yes. This will be your opportunity to identify yourself as stable, grounded, knowing how to make decisions that are good for you and when to hold, when to welcome in and when to reject. It's a test. Something might come into you that's a challenge in your emotional field that might want to take you off balance. But I feel like you will come through because here you're sitting as the Queen of Swords, rejecting. I feel like you, the test, and it's it was an easy pass, I feel. Like one of those um, automatic tests that you just, you have to just click yes or no, and it's pass. So even though it might throw you off a bit when it comes in, with the sensation that it comes in, you will regather yourself and handle it well. I feel like this is the message though that's saying there's an end to the night of something coming in to remove, to bring light to a situation for you and that will cause you to actually succeed at this test here that's coming up. And this test came through because, um, came at you because you did make a decision to align with your intuition with your lioness energy, your bravery, your courage, your passion, your even your sex appeal, whatever it means, just you aligning with yourself. You've decided to go on this path, path to level up your sense of self, self. And so, of course, you're going to be tested. That's how it works <laughs> in this universe. Okay, thank you so much for these messages for Leo's. Thank you so much. Seven of Cups. Thank you so much. The, the seventh, thank you. And my message, please, for Leo's. Thank you so much. The nine. And then the king here at the bottom. The seven of hearts in playing cards for me feels like being in that state of working for a higher level of love within yourself and then it will manifest in you actually being able to distribute this love share it with others that's a higher sense of purpose not only thinking of yourself but remembering that all is one and so you're looking to really align with that divine sense, you know one feeling of love so you respect yourself you know you respect others you try to be healthy to think different i think that's where the value you're looking to manifest it's coming through to you you have made a decision you have you decided to walk away from something that may have because out of you i feel like you've made a decision new beginnings the ones moving with your new energy the nine of cups being re, the nine of pentacles being rewarded so it has manifested here clearly the sense of value that you're looking for pentacles you could be meeting an earth sign that's coming to you taurus virgo capricorn earth sign water scorpio pisces cancer okay so you're being very di direct here in your your ear lioness mode let's get some final messages for leo's thank you so much final messages for leo's to go with nine of cups final messages for leo's king of cups final messages water okay so maybe there's there's something a water sign coming into you, Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, coming into you. What for? You seem as if they see you as a challenge to break. <laughs> oh. Uh, 
and, and a business opportunity. Like someone has many. All right, Leo's. Like someone has a lot of things to share with you, to say to you, and they're coming into you. Maybe it's the person that wanted to get married to you over here. Or the business that wanted to work with you. Okay, Leo, that's your reading. I hope you find help in these messages along your journey. Thank you so much for being here. Much love and take care. Bye.